everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I've got a really quick video. I wanted to show you how to make this very cute little baby tag. I've got the name covered up because my daughter has to give a gift and I was making this to go on the gift for that. But all of this is using things in the Christmas catalog um, or items that would be considered Christmas, except of course for the framelits. But um, it uses the embossing folder, that uh, cable knit embossing folder that looks wintry. This is from the Cookie Cutter Builder Punch. Um, let me go ahead and show you those stamp sets. So, of course, you know, we're using the layer and ovals and the stitch shape framelits in that. This is the Cookie Cutter Christmas set. And it comes with the Match and Punch. This debuted in last year's holiday catalog and it carried over into the new catalog. And there are a lot of fun things that you can do with this set. The Match and Builder Punch, um, just, I wouldn't have one without the other, definitely. But you can tell it's a Christmas set. We'll be using that one. And then here's that cable knit embossing folder. It's in the annual catalog. And then this is a new item, tags and trimmings and the trim your stocking thinlet styles. This is in the new holiday catalog and you can bundle this set. What's fun about this set is it makes a pillow box stocking. You can make just the pillow box or you can make the stocking and make it a pillow box to hold candy. And here's all of the dies that go with it. We're gonna be using the stripe stamp from here and then we're going to be using this little tag framelit to cut out our tag so those are the things that we're going to be using and let's get started stamping the ink colors we're going to be using are the soft suede the soft sky and the memento and i have this is for our actual tag it's cut two inches by five inches and, oh, I'm also going to use the tag topper punch. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to slide that in all the way to the end, and I'm going to punch. Now, I'm going to put this in the embossing folder. And for that raised part, you always want to put your embossing folder. This is like right side up, the side that you see the writing. And I wanted the knit to go up and down that knit pattern. So I'm just gonna lay it in there and I'll run it through the big shot. Let me pull my big shot over. I'm gonna show you. This is one of the um, embossing folders. The dynamic impression embossing folders so you have to open it up to the um if you have the newer platform you just use the platform you don't add that um adapter plate and then you put your embossing folder down and it takes just one cutting plate you don't make a sandwich with the cutting plates and we're just going to run that through And there we go. There's our embossed piece. While I've got the big shot here, I'm going to go ahead just for time's sake and cut out my pieces before I stamp. I usually like to stamp on the piece and then cut it out, but I think I can center my bear up since this is photopolymer. I'm going to put my cutting pad down, and I've got my stitch shape framelit, and then I've got the scrap piece. Let's see if I can get both of these on here. I think I can. I've got the scrap piece of, let me cut that off, crumb cake. And I'll let that hang off the edge. Whenever you're using your Big Shot, remember you always want to use the correct sandwich. There's 
that. So I've got it fully closed, my platform fully closed with a cutting plate, my paper, my framelit dies, and I'm going to put my top cutting plate on there and crank it through. And there's our shapes. I love those stitch stack shape framelits. Those are some of my favorite. Oh, I forgot to do the tag. Let me go ahead and do that real quick while I've got this stuff out. Actually, no, I won't because there's something else I want to do. It's night time here in Georgia, and I've worked all day, but I made this tag, and I said, I want to show folks that those products are more than just for Christmas. So I said, now's the perfect time. So let's go ahead and stamp the bear. Like I said, the Cookie Cutter Christmas is a photopolymer set, so you can see exactly what you're doing. This stamp, oh, let me get my um, stamp and pierce mat. This stamp, you want to make sure you get a good impression, so you want you may want to have something cushiony underneath you. So I'm gonna lay that, but see, I can see exactly where I'm stamping. If my head gets in there, I'm sorry. So there goes my bear. And I want to let that ink soak into the paper. That's another thing when you're using solid stamps. Give it a minute for the ink to soak into the paper. And we've got a pretty good image. Now, let's add his ears. I'm going to stamp those in soft suede as well. Again, just line it up at the top of that teddy bear. Just like that, let it soak in. All right, and now we want to give him a face. I'm gonna leave that out. We're gonna stamp this with the memento. Right there in the middle. Okay, and then we've got to give him a little bow tie. On the original tag, I stamped it in the memento. I think I'm going to use the soft suede to kind of tone it down a little bit. So here's the little bow tie stamp. And stamp it right on the end of this little scrap piece of soft sky. Now, this cookie cutter, you can cut out the man shape, like the gingerbread man. It's got a heart, all of these little things. But I wanted to leave my bear intact. I did want to cut out the bow tie, though. So I'm just going to slide it in there and line it up. I think I've got it lined up pretty good. When this set came out last year, I let, this was one of the first things. I think it was the very first thing I bought out of the holiday catalog. And that's all we're going to use the builder punch for is that little bow tie. And I'm just going to attach it with a glue dot. Get out my glue dots. I love this little tip from Connie Stewart. Watched her videos where you tie the ribbon and it keeps your little tail there, but as you use it, you can pull it back to expose the next glue dot and it keeps that from flapping all over the place. Just makes life easy. So now this is going to go on this crumb cake piece, but I am going to sponge the edges. I'm doing that with the soft suede. I use the crumb cake. First of all, I don't have any soft suede cardstock. I've got to order some of that. 
but I think it's softer and it really makes that bear pop. And then I'm going to ink the edges of the tag piece as well. So think outside of the box for the products that you purchase. They're not just for one particular holiday. Look at ways that you can use them for more than one thing. All right, so we've got that. And now we're going to make the tag. Another thing, let me bring my original back over here. I just did a plain white tag. I'm going to dress it up a little bit, and that's what I've got this piece for. I'm going to take, get my um, soft sky again. Close this up because y'all know me. I'm going to have ink everywhere. So here's the soft sky ink. I'm going to ink up the stripe stamp. And remember, this was out of the tags and trimmings. That is the bundle with the um, trim your stocking thin let dies. And I know this isn't going to fit, but I just want those stripes. Okay, see it's a tone on tone effect. And now I am going to, where did my white, there's my white scrap. I'm going to cut the tag out of this and I'm going to cut it out of there. Let's get the big shot back up here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to cut it all at the same time. Use my other cutting plate. Big shot out of the way again. Ugh, I fell on the floor. All right, so here's my two little tags. Now we're going to put the two in the from. It's out of the cookie cutter Christmas, this two and from right here. We're going to do that in soft suede. And why isn't it sticking to my block? Okay, let's get it lined up. Use that grid paper. I love this stuff. It makes me look like I halfway know what I'm doing. All right, so now it's time to put everything together. Now, don't you think, doesn't that dress it up a little bit more with those stripes? I like it. Okay. So, let's get some dimensionals. I'm down to the nitty gritty on these. Just going to put the dimensionals on here. And then I want to attach this with just some Tombow. I want to get around those edges where that crumb cake peaks back and just sets it off. All right. So now we're going to put this on our tag. And then I did want to ink around the edges on this. Uh, slightly. Get 
get out my glue dots again because I'm just going to stick these two together. Just kind of line them up. All right, and then we're going to kind of line that up with the hole. I'm just going to put a little Tombow. That stuff is sticky, y'all, and it'll hold. And just a little bit more to the corner. And there's our gift tag. And we'll just run ribbon through there and add it to our gift. Don't you love that? I just love how that turned out. And even though um, these things were considered holiday items, you can use them year-round for things like this. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would appreciate it if you do. I also have a blog, www. Nina Southern Accents .blogspot com. If you're interested in any of the products I use today, I'm linking them below. Uh, you can also go to my online store, which is southernaccents.stampinup.net. If you go to my blog, that you can get to the store that way. I also have a Facebook page, Nina Southern Accents. I know that's a lot of information, but thanks for watching today. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business and uh, join, uh, help you out with making cool projects like this. This is one of my favorite things about Stampin' Up! It's not just making cards, but making cute little gift embellishments to give to people. Uh, it makes it so much more special. Have a blessed day. Good night, everybody.